Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. In the last episode, we beat the Minotaur. And we also did a little bit of leveling up, too. Since the last video, I've leveled up to level 6. The reason I did that was to max out on cure potions and also get at least 20 heal potions for what I'm about to do. So without further ado, let's go ahead and head to north. Now this is a battlefield. There are 10 battles in every battlefield, and once you clean a battlefield out of battles, you will get a reward. Sometimes it'll be money, sometimes it'll be extra experience, sometimes you may even get a spell or a piece of armor. I will be going through all of them because, well, you're going to need the stuff that comes with beating all these battlefields. I will skip this one for now. In the meantime... Let's go to the Sand Temple, which is north of this battlefield. And there doesn't seem to be much to the Sand Temple. There is a chest here, but when we open it, there's nothing inside. Enter this guy and his crazy awesome theme. I should definitely put that theme in the description. Looking for some cure, kid? First of all, my name is Benjamin, and I'm looking for elixir. I'll sell you some for, say, 9,000 GP. Well, even if you have the 9,000 GP at this point, you still can't take it for the 9,000 GP. The game isn't going to make it that easy. Whoa, that's way too much. Listen, kid, this stuff is precious, right? My allowance is only 2 GP a month. You're on an allowance? How old is the hero here? 12? Then let's do it this way. I'm going to the Bone Dungeon to find treasure. You come with me and help. If I get the treasure, you get the elixir. Do I have any choice? When do we go? There's a battlefield nearby. Why don't you whack a few monsters there and maybe win something, kid? The name's Benjamin. And Tristam has joined the party. He is a ninja, I want to believe, and he has 99 throwing stars. That total does run out, but we will be able to find more in an upcoming area that we are going to go to. Other than the battlefield. When we go north, we'll be able to go to the bone, bone dungeon. But, we have two battlefields that we need to do. I might as well just go ahead and show off the enemies here. We got some new ones. The Mad Plant is weak to the axe, and the Poison Toad is strong against poison, which Tristam's Ninja Stars are able to do. However, Tristan will still be able to one-shot the Poison Toads. And Poison Toads will be able to poison you, with one of their attacks. I'll tell you which one it is when it happens. Until then, just keep whacking the mad plants with Benjamin's axe and keep using the... throwing stars against the poison toads. And when you beat a battle in a battlefield, the game will tell you, hey, you have this many to go. And we got first strike here. Still waiting on that attack. And because we had first strike, the mad plant there was never able to hurt us. And we got eight to go. I don't even know why I'm going between areas. I don't need to. And went too fast there, but that was exactly the enemy that I wanted Benjamin to attack, so that's alright. And we got a critical hit there, which means we did like pretty much overkill on the mad plant there. You know, if the Poison Toad would do the attack I'm thinking of, I would be able to show it off. That's why I'm kind of doing all this stalling and showing off all these random battle arrangements. And of course, there's the full Nelson, which is the Mad Plant's most powerful attack by this point. It's not really going to do anything to you. 
it's really not going to do all that much. And another set of Mad Plant attacks. Well, if I get the attack, I'll show it to you guys, but I'll see you when I'm done with this battlefield. Hey, we're at level 7 now! So we haven't gotten that Poison Toad attack that does the poison yet, but I will be back when that does happen, if it happens at all. Finally, another Poison Toad! And we are on the last battle of the battlefield that we are currently on. And it doesn't look like, look like we're going to see that attack at all. Oh well. But, by clearing this battlefield out, we will get extra 54 experience. Nice. But we have another battlefield to the west of the Sand Temple. I'm going to see what's in here, too. Ah, even more of the same. We'll definitely be able to show this attack off, hopefully. I know I didn't get first strike. Poison Fluid! That's the one that I was looking for. And... And we got poisoned. Here's how poison works. Whenever you have a turn, you will take some a random amount of damage. It will be small, but it will hurt. Poison will last after a battle, so you will have to use a heal potion even if you beat the battle. There are other ones that will heal after the battle is over, but poison is not one of them. Poison is not one of those status ailments, sadly. Now, I finally showed that off. About time. Well, I might as well go ahead and heal up and join you guys in case something happens. Otherwise, I will see you on the last battle of this battlefield. Oh, hey, there's a new enemy here. This is the Basilisk. Unlike the Basilisk of earlier Final Fantasy games, these Basilisks will not petrify you. These guys are just very vanilla enemies. And you can easily take them down in one shot with either party member at this point. And let's see here. Yep, nothing left. So I'll join you in case of another level up or in case I make it to the final battlefield or final battle of this battlefield, I should say. See you then! Alright, we are now on the final battle of the battlefield that we are currently in. And hopefully I can get through everything okay. There's also something that I completely forgot about up until a couple of battles ago. And I'll show that off when we get through all of this text. But first, by cleaning out this battlefield, we get the charm. This increases Benjamin's defense by one. Don't worry about equipping anything. The game automatically does it for you because, well, it's an RPG for beginners after all. Anyway, there's something I forgot to mention. Armor. Tristram's armor is the Moon Helm, which protects against fire, and the Black Red, which presents, prevents, or basically protects against instant death. Even though we don't really have to worry about much where we're going. But if you go to status, Tristram still has the elemental and special defenses that Kylie had. This is a bug in the game. So what we're going to do, now that we've cleared all that out, is we're going to save on the world map here. And then, we're going to reset the game. 
You have to do this every time you get a new ally, or else the ally character's elemental and special defenses will not kick in. Now if we go check the status again, there we go. He has the fire and instant death defenses. Also, his stats have changed a little bit. I don't remember Tristam having that much evade. Even though it's pretty much he's pretty much more powerful than you anyway, even if you don't do the whole reset thing. It's still wise to reset after you well, it's still wise to save the game after you get a new ally and then reset. You don't want to forget to save. But you do want to do that every time you get a new ally. Save, save your game, then reset. And then you'll reset the defenses and everything will be as it should be. Also, I forgot to mention that Tristam also has a life spell just like Kylie. That was not a glitch. So I might as well go ahead and mention that yeah, that is indeed a glitch. That is a thing in the game. You have to do that with Kylie too, but thanks to how I kind of got the first video ready, I didn't have to do that, and therefore I didn't have to mention it. But in the case of Tristram, I knew it was going to happen, and therefore I had to show that off. Also, I keep calling Tristram Tristram. This isn't Soul Calibur 2. But anyway, we are now in the Bone Dungeon, where we have even more new enemies to take on, such as those lizards up there. And this place has some really, really, really good music. I'm going to just sit here and let this part play. Anyway, you may notice that sand moving up there. That is a conveyor belt. It will take this moving, the quickly moving sand will take you in the direction that it is moving in. Sometimes it'll help you get out of the dungeon. Sometimes it'll get you closer to where you want to go. But I do want to take these enemies on. Got a new enemy here, which is, oh, it's the basilisk. I honestly thought that was a new enemy. Well, it shows what I know. And I'm going to go ahead and get some length on today's video, because why not? Because there aren't any new enemies here, and therefore I'm going to go ahead and clear this room out. Kinda. I guess. Oh, there are new enemies here. And I can't move back. Well... I'll go ahead and go through this battle first, and then I'll show off those worm enemies, because I forgot completely about them. So, so, never mind what I just said earlier, there is at least one new enemy here. And let's see here. Okay, we got nothing. And I might as well just go ahead and open that to get the two cure potions that I used while I was on the battlefields. And then take on this guy. The Sandworm. Are these guys weak to anything? They're weak against the axe. But not much else. And hey, it's a good thing I did show off this battle because we're now at level 8. So what I'm going to do is clear out this room, try not to touch any chests while I'm doing this. If I do, I'll accidentally, if I do that on accident, I'll just cut to when I do accidentally do that and tell you what's inside. So I'll see you when I got this room cleared out. All right, we're back. We clean up all the enemies around here. And wow, uh, Tristram has used a lot of throwing stars in this video but thankfully we can always get 10 more I could go back go back out and then go for those th 
throwing stars again. But I would have to fight a whole bunch of enemies again. But thankfully, we can get 10 from both of these boxes here, which is good. Don't don't be too worried about running out of the throwing stars that Tristam has. You can easily get you easily have more than enough to get through here. I say as we make our way north. And there's always going to be some treasure boxes that will contain stars, so that way you can refill on more. And we can't get to here, which is the same, because there's a chest there, and I definitely want to get it. And there's a thing that I need to do. Ah, right. I need to go down into the water here. And into here. That's cool blocking our way. But if we go over here, we'll be able to do something that will allow us to have our way unblocked. The door's still shut. Well, here goes. Watch this. Aren't these something? I'll sell you some cheap. How about 50 explosives for 30 GP? Okay. We get a new weapon for super cheap, and we get the bombs. The bombs will attack all enemies, and they never miss, even if your accuracy is utter garbage like it is early in the game. You can also use them to blow up barricades, but beware that does use a bomb. Thankfully, you can refill on bombs, if you know what you're doing. Just walk up to what you want to blow up, and press A. Even if you blow up nothing, that still uses a bomb, so you do want to be careful. And by opening this chest, we get the steel shield for Benjamin. Again, don't worry about equipping anything on Benjamin, because the game will automatically do it for you. Now, let's go back to where we got the bombs in the first place. Because we gotta go over there to get further into the dungeon anyway. I say as I accidentally touched my while scratching my face. And thankfully, if you need to conserve bombs, you can always use the shoulder buttons. And we have two new enemies here. The first one is the Rock, which is weak against shoot attacks, which is what Tristram's throwing star attack is. Is there anything that I should know about the rocks? Oh, they can, that's right, they can cast the blind spell on you. You can heal blindness with a cure, with a heal potion, and yes, blind does last between battles, I think. But in case you do get blinded and you don't have time to use the heal potion, go ahead and switch to the bombs, that way Benjamin can't miss, because that's what blind makes you do, and makes you miss attacks. And over here, we have the skeletons. They are weak against zombie attacks, which means if you use cure on them, they crumble in one hit. We're not going to do that. We're going to fight them off the old-fashioned way because that's going to be more than enough to take care of them at this point. And is there anything else? Well, not really. Oh, by the way, speaking of Tristram... The level times 10 thing does not apply to him, but the 25% of the HP thing does. So if you use a heal potion on him, he does heal 90 hit points worth of damage. Also, the flying enemies do fly in battle, though you have a flying enemy coupled with at least one non-flying enemy. They don't fly, they just kind of float there without even moving. All the enemies have to be flying type enemies in order to float like this, like they're like the, the rock is doing right now. Might as well go ahead and use this battle just to say that. And we get 10 more ninja stars for opening this box. And I will see you when I clear this room out. Be right back.
Oh shoot, I just now realized. The more enemies you hit with the bomb, because the bomb hits multiple enemies, the less damage you do across all monsters. Like what I'm about to do now. Both of those rocks took 121 damage. That's alright, that's enough to kill them. But, if that were one rock, that one rock would have taken more than 121 damage. Catch you when I do a level up or clear out the room, whichever happens first. And we are back. Not getting as much experience off these guys as I did off the guys at the level forest, but it is experience all the same, and it is experience that I will definitely want. Now, there are things we can do that not to the left because that's a dead end. Here's a new enemy. Well, the guy on the right is. That's a Gorgon. It's basically a palette swap of the behemoth that we met early in the game. Um, what is he weak against? Nothing, really. He's pretty powerful, though, but though I though I would still be careful of him. Oh, he can poison, too! Well, I'm glad I showed this battle off. And the body odor paralyzes. Wow, and if you're paralyzed, you can't move. Well, time to learn things today, because I did not have any of this in my notes. Yes, I am looking at my notes at princewatercrest.blogspot.com. Okay, paralyzed does not last after the battle, so that's good. And we got ten more bombs for Benjamin, which is cool. Um... Ooh boy, I want to heal up like really, really bad. And I'm not going to use my... Well, I might as well just go ahead and do it. Why not? They'll be, they'll be easy to refill on later. But shoot, I did not expect that to happen. You'll still have the heal poison though. And I'm not supposed to go ahead and... Why am I using the sword? I'm not supposed to just go ahead and stick around the, on the, for the rest of this battle here in case I level up. Hey, what I tell you? As soon as I saw it, I had like 279 experience point gain, I'm like, I'm going to gain here. Oh, and it's a good thing I kept talking because I get to show this off again. See these cracks? Use the bomb. So cool. I'm going to clear these two enemies off and then show us what's in this chest. Be right back! Alright, we're back. I'm assuming this is going to be Tr Tristram's Ninja Stars. Yes, it is. Well, there's another Gorgon and another Skeleton. Might as well go ahead and take care of those two. And we are back from that. And as soon as we blow up this little spinal column, which we will have to do in order to get past all this quicksand, we meet another new enemy, the Minotaur Zombie. And in case I haven't mentioned it before, if you lose, use life on the Minotaur, apparently it kills it because the game considers it an undead enemy. That's a bug. But the Minotaur Zombie is actually undead, and if you use life on it, it will kill it. I'm pretty sure Cure will damage it as well. I think. Yes, you can. Just had to check my notes just to be sure. Also, Minotaur. I guess they ran out of room. Or translation error. Or a spelling error. Something happened there. And it doesn't seem like we're getting a lot of GP, but that's all right. Once we take care of that skeleton, though, we will be able to make our way further into the dungeon here. All we have to do is place a bomb here, and we open up the doorway.
All right. Time to get some more ninja stars. Then to make our way up here. Now, what is in here first? I want to check that out. Oh, hey. Seeds. These seeds will recharge your magic charges. Make sure to use these when you absolutely need them because you're not going to be able to find seeds for a good while. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and clear this part out. Be right back. That's not good. Apparently Skeleton has Spooky Laugh, which allows it to cast a Confusion Spell on you. Now sometimes Benjamin will attack the monster, but sometimes he'll atta attack himself, or he'll attack Tristam as well, so you gotta be careful about that. Thankfully, in case Benjamin gets attacked, Confusion will be nullified. So there is that. All right, we're back. I'll just go ahead and... Huh. Well, apparently the... Conveyor belt stuff isn't gonna move me straight to the left. It's just gonna have a mind of its own. Forget what I said about the conveyor belt stuff then. And you do want to go in here because this gives you the quake spell. I believe that is... I want... Oh, that it's a black spell. I forgot these are columns, not rows. So yeah, we finally have our first offensive spell of the game. Still have yet to find a wizard spell, though. I think that'll be taken care of eventually. Might as well just go ahead and talk through the Minotaur battle here because, well, I entered it while talking, and we're gonna go blaze our way through it anyway. That'll cut out, cut down on the editing a little bit. And here we are. Now, where am I on my notes? Okay, there we are. Let me open this up real quick. Alrighty then, I did not expect to get to cover a lot of headway in this one video. I guess I might as well just go ahead and take on this first boss here. But first, we want to heal. And at least we don't have to worry about recharging any spell charge or anything. I'm usually going to save spells for boss battles anyway. As soon as you leap over here, you will face your first boss. Uh, you'll never beat me. I have the power of the Crystal of Earth. And now it's time for our first boss battle against Flamers Rex. Flamers Rex is strong against poison and paralyzed attacks, which means that Trist Tristam's Ninja Stars, while it will be able to do damage, it won't re really be able to do much aside from damage. It is, however, Flamers Rex, however, is weak against zombie attacks, which means we can use Cure and Life against it. Actually, no, I believe you can't use li Yeah, you can't use Life on it. You can use Cure, though. So you can insta-kill him. The game actually was one step ahead of you there. I'm going to go ahead. Actually, no. What I want to do is use all four of my Black Magic charges on Quake because that's going to do more damage than my usual attack anyway. Even if I am using the bombs. You want to watch out for Twin Fame because it can do a lot of damage. Don't be surprised if you find yourself using Cure in this battle. Thankfully, I always remember to not use my spells during normal enemy battles. And we're already doing some damage to it. He's using some of his 
He's losing some of his bones there. There is the bone boomerang there. I forgot what it's called. And that also does a ton of damage, too. Um, I'll just go ahead and use Quake here. And then... Nah, I'll just go ahead and use a Cure Potion. I'll go ahead and use Life when I really need to. And there's... Oh, it's Bone Missile. That's what it's called. And regardless of who it hits, it's going to do a lot of damage. So there's Quake. We've done even more damage now. Let's go ahead and use our last Black Charge. And... I might as well just go ahead and attack with Tristam. Why not? Ooh, it's a good thing I did critical. That did as much damage as Quake. And chew off. Ooh. Yeah, that'll probably deserve a cure spell if I'm not careful. Oh, we really got him on the ropes now. Um. I'll go ahead and use a cure potion on Benjamin, but have Benjamin attack. That'll probably do... Nah, that didn't really do that much more damage. Oh, well. I'll just go ahead and switch back to the axe and have... Tristam do even more. And I forgot that he can put you to sleep. Oh, that ain't good. Ooh. And by being attacked, that pretty much canceled out sleep, and that made my... Heal potion use utterly worthless. And maybe I should have just kept the bombs equipped after all because the axe did a sorry amount of damage. But by beating Flameless Rex, we are now done with the bone, bone dungeon. And we finally save the Crystal Birth. we get completely healed, which is a really cool thing. Look, the crystal! Never mind that, get a load of this stuff! Hey, you got a claw! You got a grappling hook. I'll keep this. Oh, here's what you wanted. And we have the elixir for all of our hard work. Let's go ahead and get some more cure potions and some more bombs for Benjamin. And don't forget to open this chest because you will need this very, very soon. This is the sand coin, and it's going. As you can tell, it's probably going to be very important. And as soon as you jump back down south, Tristam sadly leaves your party. Look, I gotta go. See you around, kid. Shrug. But now that we have done everything that we need to do. I might as well just go ahead and leave the dungeon because all of the enemies are gone and it'll be easier to get out. You have to get out the long way. You have to get out on your own. The game doesn't automatically take you back to the overworld map. You have to get out of here on your own. So I'm just going to save you the trouble and do that off screen. So join me next time where I head back to Forresta, hand Kylie the elixir, and see what we need to do next. Until then, this is Prince Watercress. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!